Hello, my name is Gabrielle Pasek. I am a reference and adult services librarian and will be sharing my thoughts on bibliotherapy. Information professionals must acknowledge boundaries and refrain from discussing the medical facet of bibliotherapy. Instead of referring to the term therapy, we can feature book displays and programming on relaxation. Hosting yoga at the library or book discussion groups based on patrons' interests in an informal setting are some recommendations. Incorporating poetry reading and writing workshops, listening to soothing music during adult coloring, and other forms of programming will allow patrons to think of the library as a safe space. We can partner with counseling centers and community organizations to further address emotional needs. My concerns for bibliotherapy are that patrons may ask librarians for medical advice at programs or at the reference desk. A challenge for us will be to identify ways to address these concerns through informational readings or community resources. In this case, we must respect their privacy and remind patrons that any information shared remains confidential. As specific library materials discussed may bring distress or trauma, it is important for us to provide content warnings prior to facilitating discussions on these materials as well as reminding the patrons that participation is voluntary. Literature will empower our patrons and allow them to seek refuge from stressors. As librarians, we play a vital role in serving the community. Continuing on with active listening, patience, and displaying empathy are what foster an environment abundant in diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility. While we are not licensed medical professionals, we certainly can make a difference in the lives of our patrons through bibliotherapy.